Mr. Toby Driscoll, you have an item uh, in the box. It's in the box. I don't know what's in the box. I no? haven't seen it. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just guessing because I, I know you briefly. We hung out with Jam. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but you get get this cool shop where he works on radios, electronics, a lot of ham radio. What? You work on anything electronic? Pretty there? much anything. We always say if you can plug it in, we'll work on it. Great. If you put batteries in it, we'll work on it. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming it's a techno it's, tinkering thing. Well, I, I can be wrong. You can assume all you want. I can, I can assume all you want. And you know that, where that gets you. Yes, yes it does. Now if you want, you can open the box because it is covered. Oh, okay. And you can actually feel it tactically, you know, kind okay. of look around. So. We're opening the box. It's the box. Open the box. All right. All right. Man, cool, you didn't cool. have to give me a gift. Well, I know, you know, and, and, but, but this one you can't drink it. Oh. This is... And I give you a hint, it's part of a hobby. Okay, it has a base, so I'm thinking it's yeah. it, it needs to stay stationary like that. Uh, wow, it could be yeah. anything, man. Some sort of base to hold something while you it's work on it. It's a hobby on. where you talk and you listen. A hobby where you talk and you listen. And something you listen. radio. Very good. Something radio. Very good. An antenna. Uh, no, not an antenna. So, if the talking device, maybe could be, let's could be a microphone. Let's take a look. Could be an earpiece. Could be a. Take it all the way out. Guess see what that is. Yeah. From from afar, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Something from a souvenir shop from overseas, a national monument of some sort. This. And you still don't know what it is. Uh, but, but, but you know what, that's it is, okay, it is a says, lot of people It don't. says the, oh, West Gulf Coast Convention, Meridian, Texas, ARRL, June 1968? 1969. 69. Yep. What that is, and I'm, I'm going to have to tie this in a little bit. It looks like a bit. sundial of it, some it sort. Could, yeah, you could probably use it for that. That's called a wolf hung. The Wolfhong is a, uh, a battlefield device from the battles back in the late uh, 1800s. It was a torture device on the battlefield. Ah. Now, why we have this in, in amateur radio or ham radio is a, is a neat little thing. Back when, uh, after the First World War, when amateur radio started getting back in, people started getting back into it, they formed an organization called the American Radio Relay League. A-R-R-L, yes. there it is on the And base. they're kind of like the NRA of, of ham radio, gotcha. okay? So the first president, Hiram Maxim, decided that there was a lot of people using amateur radio, but wrongly, against the rules and regulations, not having good operating practice. Uh. So the Wolfong was brought to, uh, in 1919, to the board of directors, and it was given to them to hung, hang in the secretary's office as a symbol of enforcement and to be looked on with fear and awe. Because if you don't follow the rules, so a code. The if you don't yet. follow the code, exactly. of, you know, everyone has exactly. to have a code to live by. So the radio operators, this is a representation this is a, of, yes. hey, follow the code. You bet. In the, late, uh, in the late 20s, early 30s, there was actually a group formed, which is a secret royal order of the mm. Wolfhound which some here may or may not be part of that organization. Wow. And, and beyond that, I can't talk about that organization. So wait, one more time. See, now I'm intrigued. Yeah. In the late 20s and early 30s, yes. there was a secret organization of, how do you spell this anyway? Wolf, W-O-U-F-F, uh, H-O-N-G. Wolfong. Okay. Yeah, Wolfong. And it was in Flint, Michigan, where the amateurs got together and actually made a royal order, a secret royal order of the Wolfong. And today, that royal order still exists. Royal order. Royal of the order of the Wolfhound. Yep. Pretty interesting. Pretty amazing. So, but but you said this was actually it was a torture device. This was a torture device, and they believe it came from either China or Japan uh, during the wars. And and I said after the First World War, it was brought in and, and shown to the organization as that device of of awe and fear. If you didn't follow the rules. Yes. Yeah. Nothing like 
Gazing at a torture device. There you go. This is a very rare piece. There was only a few of these made for that convention, and this is one of them. It was handed down to me from another member of the Royal from Order. This, from the June of 69 yes, convention? Yes, yes. Yep. So that's an actual piece from that convention handed down through other amateur radio operators to me, and hopefully one day I'll hand it down to another amateur operator uh, that, that joins the organization. So, this, okay, so it's something of an yeah. heirloom that's passed on, a rite of passage. Exactly. So that's yes. pretty cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's really that's cool. That's really, really cool. All right. Yeah, we'll wow, Toby, thank you. You bet. This is... Just, just watch out. You're not a ham operator, are you? I'm not. You, well... I'm not. And... You might be safe right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right now, <laughs> but I can be if you, I have to. You, you bet. <laughs> jump on, jump on board, man. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Toby, thank you. This is awesome. You bet. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me on the show. This Thanks. is uh, pretty cool.